welcome. This is Emma and Mia and tonight's video is Press on Nails. We've been checking out how to do this properly so we're excited to see how long they stay on for. We shall see. First of all we're going to prepare the nails, then we shall apply the nails, and then we shall paint them. So we hope you enjoy it. I'm going to move the camera in a little closer now so you'll be able to see everything. So lots of love and let's get Okay, here we have all of our bits and bobs ready to go. We picked up these two boxes here of press on nails. I'll show those to you. They're both slightly different shapes, and we think we're going to go for this one. Mia slightly prefers the shape. This one, a little softer in shape, so these would be ballerina, and they're also more flexible, so a little easier to fit around the nail. We'll probably have an easier time with these, and they're softer shape and mere prefer those this time. So, there's number three. There we go. They're quite handy as well because they have numbers at the end. So we can keep them all together. I went ahead and added the numbers with permanent marker inside the sections there. Uses. Some nail files, clippers to make them shorter if we need to. Um, we have some nail dehydrator here, which I thought would help with the bonding. Not everyone recommends this or suggests this, but just wanted to be doubly sure that they stay on. And we have two glues here. So this is the glue I use to repair my nails if I have a break. And that's very strong, but this one was recommended and the reviews were really good with this. In fact, someone said that their nails stay on for four weeks and they're a hairdresser, so I wanted to use that one and see how we get on. And just in case we have a little glue leakage on the side, we have some cotton buds, scissors, bottom wool in case, and to keep the nails clean to clean them before we add the glue and to uh, wipe off any uh, dust from when we buff the nails. We've got some rubbing alcohol here, there's a little bit left. Okay, so 
So I'm going to prepare the table with the towel, lay everything out and then we'll start to prepare the nails. and see the other one. Is that nice? <laughs> okay. Right, the first thing we'll do is take each nail and we'll very slightly, carefully puff the top like this. This is a very soft and light nail file and it will be easy to use, but um, you can use one of those um, sponges with all the different sides on it as well. to take off too much of the top but it's important to make an uneven surface and bore a surface to attach the nail to the top this also helps to take away any oils them down, just tidy them up underneath because we want to take care of the nails underneath. So every nail surface now is nicely buffed and you might be able to see a little dusty. All the oils are taken away and there's a nice surface, a decent surface for the glue to adhere to, which is important. So now we're going to take away the dust and clean the nails with some rubbing alcohol. Thank you. 
important to be clean all the way through because you don't want any bacteria getting stuck underneath the nail. Also, the glue claims to be antifungal as well, I think, so that will help a little too. And you can see as the nails dry, the alcohol evaporates there. You can see the um, see the surface. time for the dehydrator. So this will balance the pH of the nails and dry them a little more just to make sure there's no remaining oil. And as I say this isn't 100% necessary but it will help a little. And I would like to make sure that So next we're going to match up the sizes to Mia's nails and this is really really important if you choose a nail that's too big or too small you're going to get some left around the edges and the nails are likely to pop off then so try and get them either just just above the cuticle or an exact match if you can but you really don't want them to be over the skin you need to push them and fit them as best you can so we'll size these up now What you can do as well, if you find one that is kind of in between, so here we have a two and the three is a little small and the two is very very slightly too big, so you can always just file off the corner and make it fit, they're very easy to file. Two on the sun. Okay, so we've got and this one is seven, six, and seven again. Right, so we think we have it. We've got um, nine on the little 
fingers. Seven, six, seven again, and two on the thumb. So if I arrange them on here, that will make it easier. You can actually order these already painted with different nail art and things. There are people doing this as a business now. They decorate them for you and send them to you all ready to go. That's quite good. And our next step is to use the glue. So we're going to paint the natural nail with the glue and the press on nail with the glue. Um, not too much, you don't want to saturate the nails with glue so that it's flowing down the sides. It's okay if a tiny bit comes out the side and you can wipe it off but if you use too much it's going to slide around and be very difficult to apply. So just one and one should be enough. Let's see how this glue behaves. I think we will go for this one first. Or perhaps I'll go on this end because I'm left handed until I get the flow. Try not to leave the lid off your glue for very long, just to keep it fresh. Okay, so I didn't obviously glue all the way to the end because the nail doesn't reach the end. So just paint the glue on as much as you need. And you want to leave it on to become tacky for a few seconds. I think that's long enough this. And you want to push into the cuticle. All right. You just use the nail to push back the cuticle a little. so much easier to to brush on and then you don't use too much as well so I'm going to carefully 
gently place it and then adjust it with my fingers so if you pull back the sides of the finger there for sides of the nail and then you can make sure that you've placed it A little nail. down the side there we go okay So there we have all the nails stuck on. They're now ready to cut down if we need to and trim anywhere in the file. So let's do that. Okay. So I'm going to cut them down just below the numbers. And then Mia's going to show me how she wants the shape and then we'll do that for her. So let's got this one. We're going to use the clippers and just chop one side. Let me try and show you. Chop one side there and the other like that, and then. They're very easy to clip. And then from there, from there we'll be able to shape the ends. Okay.
Okay, so Mia has gone for this really lovely soft almond shape there and we went ahead and filed the side there so if I just get my file there just to soften the edges and blend the press on nail into her natural nail at the side like this and soften the edge and it blends in nicely there okay so we're going to go ahead and shape all the rest of them okay and there we are all filed to a pretty almond shape so it's a good job that we picked the softer nails because we worked with them shortened them a little shaped them the other nails are a little harder so that would have been quite difficult to cut down so that's looking really nice are you happy with the shape Mia? okay good all right so Let's have a look at some polishes. We have a selection here. Some of them are new as well, so let's check those out. Okay. These are new. I haven't used this brand before but it looks really good let's see what colours there's another Barium which is velvet matte what's that called? that's called modern mauve it looks really nice One is Crimson Couture, that's a velvet one as well. Here is a sparkly one. This is Crystal Rock Gold Amethyst, also Barry M. Another one, Pink Tourmaline. I'll try all these out. rhubarb and some soya colours here another velvet, what's that? crushed ribbon a jelly high shine which is ginger this is another nail kind and it's called tomboy um, pink elephants these are lovely colours my harmony and lava love I'm excited to try those this is the colour I'm wearing now and it's by Lumen gel effect it's called Apple basket. It's nice red. And the soya colours we have. Let's see. Shimmer. Taylor. Mia. And Rue. So which colour would you like to go for today, Mod? This one, okay. This one is Taylor. And this one as well. Shimmer. Okay. Right here. Pop these back.
So with all the filing, I'm just going to quickly go over again with the rubbing alcohol to make sure that there's no dust around. And this quickly evaporates, so that's fine. And then we'll and then we'll get to painting. So we're going for a tailor on all of the nails. And then on the ring finger, we're going to have shimmer over the top. Okay, and I have a, a top coat. This is my current favourite top coat. It's a nice wide brush and quite loose, so use and it dries quickly as well. Okay. going to go ahead and finish this and now we'll do the ring finger in shimmer Top coat. It's so easy to apply, isn't it? It goes on really nicely. 
the drop path oil for the cuticles set of press on nails. I think between us we did a pretty good job. So the test now will be to see how long they stay on for, hopefully a long time. And if so then I think we'll do them again. I hope you enjoyed that. Lots of love. Sleep well. Good night.